just this. I want to share a quick point. And uh, that point is that women are not stupid. Why do I say women are not stupid? I'm saying this because if it boils down to a case where a man should be offended and, 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 and be violent towards another man for making a comment towards his woman, if it boils down to a point where a man has to do that, then woman would be stupid. If it is a case where women need men to fight for them, to defend them um, against a comment, a compliment or a comment, women would be stupid. If man believed that he needs to respond violently to a comment, a remark, a compliment given to his woman, women would be stupid. Why am I saying this? If you make a comment to a woman, um, whether it is a remark where you're trying to solicit her interest, you want to gain her interest again or attention, um, it is the woman's responsibility to know how to handle herself. I, the man, you, the man, uh, should not be threatened by the fact that another man wants to have a conversation with your woman. If it boils down to the point where you, the man, feel threatened by that very existence, it means that your relationship is in trouble. A man should not be worried about another, another man giving his woman a compliment. If it boils down to that, you are in trouble. Why am I saying all of this? I'm saying this because it doesn't matter what a man comes with, it should not make you feel threatened if the woman respects you. Because there's always going to be another man who has more money than you. There's always going to be another man who dresses better than you. There's always going to be another man with something more than you. And if you feel threatened by the very existence of another man who has more than you, then your relationship is in trouble. Because a relationship that is solid and a relationship that is secure is not threatened by any material acqu acquisition, whether it may be a house or a car or money in the bank. If your relationship is solid, if your woman respects you and wants a relationship with you, you should not be threatened. So if it boils down to a case where men feel the need to fight Every other man who gives his woman a compliment, his relationship is in trouble. A man needs to relax and to know that his relationship is safe based on how he performs in his relationship, based on how he's taking care of his responsibility in his relationship. If he has all that covered, I don't think he should be worried about anything else. If the woman wants to go with someone else, she's going to go. Whether she takes a compliment in front of you or behind you. If you feel threatened and believe that by virtue of you putting up a tough face to shield off every other man who comes around your woman is the right way to protect and to defend your relationship, you are in trouble. Big trouble. You should not have to feel that way if you are in a relationship with a woman who wants to be in a relationship with you. So when a man see another man giving his woman a compliment and talking to her and smiling with her, he should be relaxed. Not to fight, not to shout, not to beat at the woman or to beat at the other man, but to be relaxed. Because guess what? If she's going to go, she's going to go. Whether it is now or another day, whether with him or another man. But if she's going, she's going. So when I see men screwed up their faces and um, putting on this tough edge whenever time they see another man talking to their woman, I do not see where it makes sense. Because guess what? If she's going to go to another man, she's going to do it today or tomorrow. She's going to do it next month or next year. If she's going to go, she's going to go. It is not because of your screw face or your threat why she's going to go. 
And the longer she takes, she takes to go, the more problematic it becomes, because she's going to stay with you, uh, doing all the things she ought to do as a woman in your life, but her heart is not there. And then when she go, because she takes so long to go, you have grown attached to her more. If she had gone from last year, you'd have gotten over it already. But because she wait and she wait and she wait, now it's time for her to go. Three, four years later, you have gained attachment to her and it puts you in a bad situation. What if she had gone from the very first month you met her? What if she had gone from the very first week you met her? It would have been easier. So, if she wants to go, then let her go. Putting up a tough face, putting up a tough edge is not going to work out. It's going to, going to cause you a problem later on because she needs to go. If a compliment or someone material acquisition is what it takes to get her, let her go. You don't need to fight for her. This is my opinion. If you do need to fight, it would be if the man is being disrespectful to her. Then it's okay. If you want to respond violently, I could understand that. I mean, I would not. I'm not saying that you should, but I would understand if you do. If the, you see your woman or your wife coming under attack by someone else and you have to defend her, that's different. I would understand you fighting for her. That would be defense. But to fight another man because he gives your wife a compliment or your girlfriend a compliment or he's trying to flex his muscle to gain her interest by showing his car or his money or whatever material acquisition he owns and you are offended and you want to fight that doesn't make any sense if she wants to go man let her go if she has to go she is going to go best for her to go as early as possible to save you the trouble there's no need to put yourself into trouble man let the woman be who she is if she wants to go and act a fool allow her to go and act a fool but don't put up these tough edges believing that women are stupid they're not stupid all right if she wants to go it means that you want to go and she's not comfortable with you what you need to do is to be happy that she's going